Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to install and use H3VR Monsolar. The first step is installing. Go to the GitHub link in the description and it'll send you here. It'll probably be light theme as um, I've made it dark theme. Click here on releases for the re latest release. Then, click the .exe file. You could also use a .zip file, but for sake uh, for sake of this video, I'm going to be using the .exe. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it in my downloads. Now, I could easily just keep it in my downloads, or I could move it to somewhere which, uh, where it's going to be a lot easier for me to use. Uh, I personally like to have Monso on my desktop so I can access it easily. Now that I have it here, to use it all I need to do is launch Monso. Windows might say this, this is because I do not want to pay $400 to get Windows to stop saying that my um, uh, program is a virus. Yes, that is all it takes to get rid of this. Not to have a good program, but uh, to pay Microsoft. So just press run anyway. This will only show once, don't worry. Also this one. Now that you're here, press downloadable mods. And by default, it's going to be all on the all mods category. Now that we have Monsole installed, let me show you some of the additional features. First thing, you do not need to install these dependency mods. As, for example, if I uh, download MediSiever, it's automatically going to install Bepinex, which is all that uh, MediSiever requires. So I'm going to do that right now. Just press install. And then there will be a temporary zip folder on your desktop, and it'll just be gone. And so when it's done, it'll say sex successfully downloaded, and you can see installed mods. It shows. Now that's cool and all, but uh, it's kind of inefficient if I want to just get up all of these mods. Well, cool feature we added. You can either, by clicking one and shift-clicking uh, how much you want, or just dragging and click, you can um, install all of them at once. I'm just going to disable cursory levels. Sorry, don't like it. And press install, and then after a few seconds, it's going to show the last remaining entry of what you selected. Um, we are going to fix this eventually. However, it's not priority right now. So once that's done, you can see they're all installed. And to prove this is the case, I'm going to go into my ACVR install folder, and there you see we have the mods. Now, if let's say I wanted to delete all of my mods. In future Monsolar releases, there will be a Disable Mods button, so the mods won't be off your ACVR, but they won't show up in-game as all the mods are disabled. This is partially in here now when you can uh, disable individual mods. For example, let's say I don't want to play with wrist, es wrist estimate. I can press disable, it's going to gray, and it's going to show disabled. And if I go into the HVR directory in Monster Cache, it's going to be a disabled mod, meaning it shall not be red. And now I can just enable it to make it go again. Now let's say I just want to completely wipe out my mods. To do that, I can just delete Bepin X, and because um, 14 mods um, rely on it, it's going um, it's going to warn you. However, it's not going to delete it because it causes issues if we do. So yes, and if I want to delete all of them, um, that would disable mods. No mods would load, but I could just uh, select all of them then and then delete it. Now, um, for custom characters, it's much the same. However, uh, one thing to note. Many of the uh, custom item mods are hosted on a website called Bone Tome, and the owner of the we um, website, um, the servers are not fast, and it's not his fault. Um, the servers cost a lot of money, and so some of these guns, for example, um, the Potatoes Piled Custom Guns, which is a massive uh, pack of guns, I 100% recommend you use it. Um, hold on, I'm just going to search another feature. Uh, search bar up here. So this one, I'm is almost getting up to a uh, one gigabyte, and so um, it usually takes around two to five minutes, and that's not due to my Wi-Fi. It's due to the Bone Tome server. So please be patient. Wait till the uh, message shows up that you finished downloading. Okay. Um, 
if you do want to install manually dependency mods, there's one um, key thing you need to be remembering. Many times, I, we are still not sure why, but if you do download the dependency mods, when you go to download a code mod or a custom item mod, uh, a mod that relies on the dependency mods, it often will break. Um, we are currently investigating this to make sure it does not happen. However, um, currently that is a small problem. That is all for today, and thank you for uh, joining me, and thank you so much for using Monstellar. Monstellar has grown insanely large uh, in the past couple of months, and it's literally my first real programming project, so it's been overwhelming the support. Thank you, and you'll be sure to see a lot more Monstellar and Monstellar updates in the future.